Vikings sign undrafted free agent running back Bryant Kobach from Toledo. All right, welcome back to One Bar and Lovegood we'll Show. I'm One Bar. In this episode, we're talking about undrafted free agent signee, brand new Minnesota Viking, Bryant Kobach, running back from Toledo. Draft weekend is officially over. I, this is the point where I start to get a little bit depressed that the draft weekend is over, but also a bit happy because we start looking at this depth chart and see all these brand new, beautiful Minnesota Vikings that are on the squad. They're going to help us take us to the promised land. But in this episode, we're talking nothing but Brian Kobach. Remember, subscribe to the channel, like the video here, talking Vikings every damn day. So Brian Kobach, let's look at him. Toledo Rockets, Toledo Rockets, quick quiz. Which former Viking was also a Toledo Rocket running back? Tick, 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 tick. Chester Taylor. Chester Taylor, baby. All right, Kobach, 5'11", 209 pounds. As you can see, he has been the lead back for the Rockets for the last handful, last four years, and uh, has done a damn good job carrying the Rock. 4,000 career total yards on the ground. Also can make some plays out of the backfield. 66 receptions, 654 yards. Uh, what I love about this is, especially look at his last year, 1,400 yards, averaging six point seven yards a carry and the man has 52 touchdowns in career 44 games so he, de he definitely has a sniffer to get in that end zone um looking at it i mean he leaves toledo pretty much top five all the major categories rushing so he uh he put in some work um but looking at him as a whole he was projected undrafted free agent potential late round pick but the vikings get Another running back to add to, to the uh, running back room. And when you look at this running back room, it is very, very crowded. We just spent a fifth rounder on Ty Chandler that a lot of people are excited about. Obviously, we got Cook, Madison, and Wangu, uh, Rose from last year, and C.J. Ham. What are we doing with C.J. Ham? These are a lot of running backs to pick. And this front office is going to have a uh, very tough decision when it comes to seeing who they keep. But um, looking at his draft profiles, looking at some of his highlights, uh, he's got power. That's kind of his thing. Not overwhelming power, but he's got power. He's tough to take down. He's fast, but he's not a speedy running back. He's kind of just fast enough. He's kind of a do-it-all running back. Uh, he can be able to run third down. He can catch the ball like we saw. Um, he makes it tough for the defenders to take down, which I love. Some of his knocks are he's just not a, he's not an explosive running back. He's not a guy that's just going to go out there and probably light up the uh, light up the highlight reel. He needs to improve his vision. He, uh, he's an upright runner. He needs to get that fixed. But looking at it as a whole, being realistic, um, practice squad, maybe he puts on a show in the preseason, gets some tape out there for some other teams looking for, for a running back. But the fact that he can play all three downs, the fact that he can catch the ball and he's tough to take down, we'll definitely get him a few looks. But we'll see what happens. As far as Minnesota Vikings practice squad at best, maybe we get a little gem for the, for the upcoming years. Let me know what you think about Brian Kobach in the comments. Are you excited? You care? Did you buy his jersey? Can't wait to hear it. Remember, subscribe, like the videos. Boom.